Josh Green here for Seconds Out. Delighted to be joined by Callum Simpson here in his hometown of Barnsley. Uh, how are you doing, Callum? I'm very well, thank you, mate. I'm good, thanks. How are you? Yeah, very well, thank you very much, mate. Um, look, community day today, you've got to speak to some up and fighters here at uh, Barnsley Star ABC. What does this gym mean to you and what does it mean to sort of be the person that, that those fighters are looking up to? This gym means a lot to me, you know, Barnsley Star ABC. This, I was I first coming here when I was nine years old. Um, I think that was 18 years ago, I had 53, but all, all my amateur fights out of this gym, 53 amateur fights out of this gym, you know, I've just talked just talk to my old coach Trevor and um, the, like, the memories used to have me, um, Trevor and John, you know, the countless, countless hours they've put into me and, and, and um, you know, weekends they've given up, flying me up and down, up and down the country to fight, you know, if you've it, been younger you don't appreciate exactly how much they do for you, that as I've got older, you know, looking back, it's a bit the, the, the real life the real life heroes, what, what they do for the community, what they what they do for for the, the people in the gym. Do you remember what it was like first sort of stepping into this gym and your feeling and sort of looking back at now what you've achieved in your career so far? Yeah, I, I can remember it like it was yesterday, you know when I like I said when I was nine years old, I was coming with my dad, um I knew that Trevor owned the gym, so out like can we speak to Trevor? They come over to us, him, him, both him and John, very welcoming. They were like, yeah, come down tomorrow. We've got wraps for you, gloves for you, just try and get some boots. And uh, yeah, and then since then, you know, like this ring now, I've had many, many good memories in here, many bad memories as well. Took a few beatings, probably some of my blood slot for there. Um, but yeah, you know, coming, coming here after school since I was nine years old and yeah, a lot, a lot of memories. How much does the, the footing of what you learn early on in your career, whether that's as a youth or earlier on as an amateur, how much does that prepare you for what you're now doing fighting for a British title on Saturday? I think, it's, I think it prepares you very well, it's very important. I think the main thing for is, is an amateur boxer is experience. I think that's the main thing. Um, and again, I used to, you know, I used to be at school having me fish and chips on a Friday and uh, Trevor would ring me up saying, oh, can you fight tonight? And I was like, yeah, go on, course I will. And just literally going up and down country with John and Trevor, you know, they're amazing people, have some good memories just in the car journeys, you know, they're, they're, they're both funny, it's like cracking jokes all the time. And, uh, and yeah, it's, but yeah, it sets you up very, very well for you to to pro. Saturday night, um, sold out allocation in double quick time at Oak Hall Stadium. I know for a long time it's a place you've wanted to fight. Did you even imagine it would go so well and you'd be fighting at this stage in your career at, at Oakwell? No, mate, no. Honestly, I never thought, it's like it's more than a dream come true. I didn't I wouldn't even think it, you know, I never thought it would have It would have happened. It wasn't until last year they actually thought it might be possible. You know, one of the guys at Boxer, when I was um, Chris Bill and Smith versus uh, Lawrence O'Corley, I believe it was the Vitality Stadium, was it, in Bournemouth? And he was saying, oh, this will be you next year. And I'm like laughing about it. And he went, no, this could be you next year. And I thought, could it? And I was like, really? And then since then, it's just kind of been, we've been building that momentum. You know, I've, I've been I've been doing uh, doing my part, you know, winning in an emphatic fashion, you know, building my, my, my fan base, everyone, the support being behind me. Boxer, Sky, the football club have come together. And um, and yeah, you know, it just shows what a tight-knit community Barnsley is in, in, in Yorkshire in general, you know. It's like I say, it's sold, it did record, record-breaking pre-sales, um, sold out straight away. And um, yeah, just, this is just a start of big, bigger things to come. Any sort of surprise about how quickly it sold out? Seven thousand tickets gone like that? Yes and no, because one one part of me were like, it's going to sell out straight away. And how many people, you know, get behind me and, and, and follow me up and down the country? But then also, it's a big thing. One saying they're going to come, but then I'm having to pay the round of money, especially you know in bands we're not we're not we're not we're not we're not rich, you know, we're hard working working class people. And um, so yeah, but for people to actually put the money down in the pocket, put the money out and, and purchase a ticket, it, it means a lot. This fight's been re building really nicely over the last few weeks yourself against Zach Shelley for the British title. Um, how much has your sort of feeling towards Zach changed throughout the build-up? Because it definitely got a bit heated on Monday. Yeah, it's not changed at all, to be honest, mate. I've always, I've always respected him, you know. In, um, I've always wanted to fight him as well, you know. When he, I've, I've shared, I've shared uh, taxi with his dad a few times back from uh, back from Wayne's and stuff, and had a good conversation with his dad. His dad actually worked in Barnsley for a bit, and um, I tried to arrange a fight for his English title in Barnsley. I said to him, "Well, let's fight for English title in Barnsley," which he agreed to, like a year, like probably just under a year ago now. And, um, but yeah, you know, I've, I've always respected him, and uh, I think he's trying to play up for cameras a little bit, trying to play a bit of a villain, um, whether he needs that. I think some boxers need need to try and psych themselves up a little bit to get worked up for a fight and to get themselves up for a fight. Whereas myself, I'm just cool, calm, chilled, whatever. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, so I respect the chili. Obviously, I'm, I believe I'm going to beat him Saturday. I'll shake his hand after, no, no problem. And he certainly will be the villain on Saturday. You know, I can't imagine there'll be too many people travelling up to support him in the corner, whereas they'll be roaring you on, all 7,000 of them or near enough. 
Look, how much of a difference do you think that is going to make and what's it going to be like walking out in front of all of them? Yeah, to be honest, I think the show sold out at first, but I think there's actually tickets available now. I think Chelly took a few tickets to sell, but it's not managed to sell them. So, yeah, I think there's a, there actually is a few more left online. I think there's a few back online now from Chelly's spare tickets. Um, but, yeah, like I said, uh, for the question about how much the crowd's going to fuel me, um, it's not about the crowd fueling me, you know. I don't need a crowd or anyone to fuel me. Um, the more so the, the crowd and the support I've had, it's helped me in training, I think, more so. Um, you know, when I've been on there, when I've been doing some grueling sessions, whether it's track work, road work, in the gym, sparring and stuff, and I've just remembered, remembered why I'm doing it and all the people that are coming out to support me um, and just give me that little, that little bit of a boost in training. And obviously on fight night, you know, we'll, we'll see. I've never had a never boxed in front of a crowd. Quite, I've boxed in front of big crowds before, but never the atmosphere it's going to be. So it's going to be, I believe I'm going to be, you know, try to take into account too much. You see a lot of boxers that, the, that, the, that the, the atmosphere get to them, the occasion get to them, but like I said, I'm a cool, relaxed, chill person. I'm in there to do a job where I do a job on Chile and that's what I'll do. And I'll take in the crowd after the fight. Uh, I want to talk about a little bit about your long-term future. Do you really see in the years to come you staying at, at Super Middleweight? Because in terms of depth here in the UK, there maybe isn't quite that depth there, whereas one, one division up at light heavyweight, there's a supreme amount of depth just on sort of the fringes of world level, and that's where you really could make a big name for yourself. Yeah, definitely. I think at the minute, you know, I met the weight, met super weight very easy. I could go up to light heavy, but I think it'd probably be, like I said, the depth at light heavy, you say it's a lot, but I don't, I don't know if it is to be honest. I think I'd clean up there as well, to be fair, man. I'm not going to lie. In domestically, especially domestically, but yeah, you know, like I said, I'm a super, I'm a, I'm a super middleweight. Yeah, so I'm big for the weight. I met the weight easy. I want to clean up domestically first, super middle. I want to show that I'm the number one, in, number one in Britain. Win the British, win it outright, and then let, let leave no. Obviously, now at the minute, even when I beat Chelly, you know, people can say, "Oh, Callum's good," but I think so and so beat him, or so and so beat him. I want to. Anyone that thinks they can beat me at super middle, I, I want to fight him. I want to prove that I am the best um, at, in, at super middle weight in, in in Britain, really. And then I want to push on, you know, European, international, and work. And then. You know, hopefully get Canelo on his slide, and then maybe bring him to back to back to what well, get it sold out full capacity. Then we'll go up to light heavy after that. Uh, we'll talk about Canelo in a second, but you say there you'd, you'd feel confident going up to light heavy now. I'm sure the sparring against some of the world's best has put your confidence right up. Some of the boxers uh, at the top level in this country, the likes of your Buatzis, uh, Ben Whitaker is obviously with boxer as well. Look, these are these are household names, but you feel like right now you have the better of them. I'd say so, yeah, definitely. You know, I've been sparring the top light heavies for, for for years. You know, Lyndon, Ar Lyndon Arthur. I used to do a used to do a nine hour shift at work and then drive through to Manchester to go and spar him. Um, you know, I sparring Lyndon Arthur, sparring Dan Aziz, preparation for Boatse, going over to Montreal, sparring Batabia for nine weeks. It was an elite world world champion for me, the pound for pound top three in the fighters in the world. And um, yeah, let's just say light heavy, I'd have no problems, no problems at all. To be honest, most of my my sparring's light heavy. Um, the super, a lot of super middleweights can't can't really hack it, can't really stick stick it out. So we've got to go get a lot of light heavyweight sparring anyway. Um, but yeah, I think for me though, because I met the weight ease, there's no reason for me to, to move up anytime soon. Uh, one recent signing from Boxer was Mr. Chris Eubank Jr. Now he said that he wants two, as he calls it, warm up fights before he faces Canelo. Um, at the, the level he's fought at and the money he's, he, he's earned, there's a possibility he may see you and say he may see you as a warm up fight. Is that a, a fight you'd welcome? This is a fight I actually mentioned to Ben Shalom. Uh, before, I, before I even signed with Boxer, I told him, I said, next year, what do you reckon to the Eubank fight? Because I know he's been at Super Middleweight before. If they want to do a catch weight, I can get under 12 stone, no problem. Don't know if I'm met middle, but we can see. You know, I think I, I like my food too much out of camp to met middle, but if the fight were made there, I reckon I'd, I reckon I'd get down to that. But, uh, but yeah, that's definitely a fight that I'd want. Definitely one I believe I, believe I win. Um, yeah, obviously Eubank's a massive name. You know, I'm a big fan of Eubank. It's, a, it's similar. Similar style to myself, in, 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 in we both got a high punch out, uh, output, high work rate, and we, we like to stop people with punches in bunches, and we're entertaining fighters, which is definitely a fight I'd, I'd, I'd want in a, in a well next year, definitely. If that fight was to be made, how would you see it playing out? Simpson win either points or late stoppage. You could you could stop him, do you think? Yeah, I believe so. Um, mentioned can I believe I can stop anybody on my, on my night. You know, I know that I've got power in, in both hands. And um, you know, like I said, I've got the, I've got an amazing, a great engine, uh, big punch output. So yeah, I'd love to stop anyone on my, on my night. You mentioned Canelo. He's obviously now facing Edgar Belanga. Um, what are your feelings towards that fight? 
Uh, I don't have any feelings at all, mate. So I got someone asked me this yesterday. I didn't even know the fight had been made. Honestly, I, honestly, I don't even watch much boxing, you know, mate. I don't, I don't watch much boxing at all. So I wish I could answer that better for you. But um, yeah, I don't know anything about that fight. Uh, we talked about Eubank Jr. being one of the fights you mentioned with Ben Shalom. But you look into the distant future, uh, a possible Canelo fight at Oakwell. Is that something you see as, as realistic two, three years down the line? You know, what, I said it. I said last year in interview with Sky, I said, oh, let's, let's, get, um, let's get Canelo at Oakwell. And uh, everyone online were laughing, saying, oh, we're never going to get a fight at Oakwell, no mind Canelo. So we've got the fight at Oakwell now. A year later, the fight at Oakwell's happened. So maybe another year's time, I might get the Canelo fight. But now I think, obviously, Canelo's not going to come over to, to Barnsley to fight at Oakwell. But, you know, there's no reason why, you know, the, the, the match directory, the way I'm going, that I'll not be up there in a couple of years. Uh, Callum, final thing for Saturday night. Just give a prediction what's going to happen. Simpson versus Chelly Saturday at Oakwell. Simpson win, mid to late stoppage. Good man, cheers for your time, Colin.